Well, I'll just say uh, the guy to my right he has a difference today for us. Uh, pitch like he has probably all but one game this year. I mean, he's been uh, he's been very very good as our number two starter. And, you know, uh, with Logan going down Kirk yesterday, we, we needed a, a good performance from a veteran. And uh, he certainly pitched a jump of the game against a good team. And, and, uh, and I thought that it's a credit to Ryan to, to do that. And so that, that pretty much is was the answer today. Plus, we, our bats loosened up a little bit. And uh, um, that's what we're looking for also. So we, we uh, go from there. Ryan, talk about your game. Um, what was working for you today? Um, thankfully, almost everything was working. Um, I got I struggled with my changeup a little bit early on in the game. Got that going a little bit later. Curve was working. Slider was working. So that helped a lot. Locates. So. Ryan, did you feel any any weight, any pressure? I I had no butterflies before this game, which was. Great, you know, just go out there and pitch. I knew my teammates would score some runs. I knew the bats were going. And I could see that they were starting to go on, so maybe they'd get me some runs and stuff. You said you had no butterflies. Is that unusual? Um, actually, this year, there's only been one game I've really had butterflies before the game, but I've been very confident going out pitching, knowing that, you know, Richards is right behind me and then we've got the teammates to score on the runs, you know, all the game long. Uh, Ryan and Ed both talked a little bit about Richards, how he came in, especially right there at the end. Big jam in the ninth inning, then just worked his way out. Well, he means it's Richards is Richards. He wanted to come out once earlier. He was already there. <laughs> <laughs> That's, he had to make a big U turn, but uh, he's just a kid that he's unique. He's, uh, he's he, he, you know, he slings the ball up there a little side up, got a little bit of a wrinkle, keeps the ball low. I think he's a little, thought he was a little bit tired, to be honest with you, in the ninth. Uh, 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 worked out of that jam. You know, in that seventh then, and I think is when I brought him, was that the seventh I brought him in? Yeah. It was, I thought that was the right spot. Take it off Ryan. He, you know, his pitch come, I might have got up a little bit. And, uh, um, and I mean, that's, that's what I do, and I do it all the time, and that's what Richard wants. Richard wants stack. Yes, he called me every day. He said, no, no, no. He, he, I mean, he's... He's that way, and, and uh, some days going to run into a real jam thinking that way. But. <laughs> John, coach, you get up to an early lead, um, they come back, they score two and not enough, but you come right back and you get those three runs. How important was that? Real important, because the way they got the two, we didn't execute a, a, a bunt defense. I think Anthony slipped a little bit, going from second over to cover first, and that's what caused that. And Ryan, Ryan didn't have a target to throw to at first, that's why he threw it short. When you make a mistake like that, in a game like that, you know, it ties it up, you wonder how your team's going to react. Then I think probably Johnny's home run was the biggest hit of that game, there's no question, because that, that cuts back in the lead again. And, uh, um, so that would be another probably the key point of the game when he hit that home run. And then, and then Tucker followed up with a double, and we loosened up a little bit again. That could have got, got that could have got to be a tight situation if we don't score that next hit. John, you want to comment on that? The, the home run as well, and the home run. I just got a good pitch to hit, and I uh, didn't miss it. Pretty much. I was just what? looking to to uh, to get a good pitch to hit. Like I said, I didn't miss it. Are you thinking that at all? Boy, they score. We got to come back and score, anything like that. I was. Honestly, I just try to take every of that like one at a time. I was just trying to trying to get a good pitch and, and, and put a good swing on. Oh, it's Tucker or something similar too. You, you're in a situation you have to score, but yet you're trying to stay relaxed at the plate. How, how do you deal with that when you get up there? So uh, we've just go. been we've been talking about it, and just been taking some pitches that we shouldn't be taking. So it's just been the focus point four games now to you know focus on getting your pitch to hit when you get it, attack it, whether it's the first pitch or the on that double where you're looking for a certain pitch and in half of the play then oh, yeah just fastball. Fastball. Fastball in, fastball out or just right throw on. Yeah, I mean okay. Yeah. Tucker, everyone talks about your hitting of course, but playing out the field Dexter can't make that that play. You get the bounce. 
just automatic. You look at the runner, you're seeing that you can get him. Can you kind of take us through that? Um, well, I could tell that once it was hit, I really wouldn't be able to get to it. But if it's one of those things as a base runner, you're gonna you gotta watch it because it's gonna be a close play. So I just do my glove up, making it look like I catch it. Try to freeze them in between the bases and alert. How important was that, guys? To where the you guys made that play, and I think it was the previous inning was the double play ball that that came off the mound, looked like it was going to go into center field, and you guys ended up turning the double play on that. It was uh, uh, second baseman unassisted, uh, the four three double play. How important were those two plays, and just sort of keeping those their momentum? Every time you get a double play, it's huge. That play that Tucker made was really big. I thought that day. There was no outs at the time, I believe, and, and he deked him a little bit, and, uh, and, he, and, he, and he kept, kept, cut, I mean, kept that kid in between the bases. It wasn't an easy catch by Nick either. Nick, Nick's made a couple of good catches in the last week or so, because you know when that run is coming into third, and you got the ball coming that way. It's a, that's a tough catch, and, and Nick's a strong kid. And the double play ball, you know, the, that was that was uh, to Anthony was a big play in the two to, to do that. Um, Tucker, you've had a um, pretty a slow start here in the series. Um, are you starting to press it or anything, or is, or is this finally getting that double and um, getting on base a couple times? Um, you're starting to loosen up. Just starting to loosen up. Definitely. You know, we've been talking about. I've just been taking pitches that I wouldn't be taking earlier in the season. Trying to get the perfect pitch, but you just got to swing it what you can hit. John. Um, Anthony had a big hit early in the game. Um, does that loosen up hitters on the bench, you know, teammates that are watching? I mean, you approach it a little bit differently knowing, all right, after scuffling the last two games for this, Anthony gets that big hit. Does that do anything? Well, That's good. We, we all have, like, confidence in everyone else on our team. We don't put too much pressure on on ourselves anyway. I don't know. I'm sure Tucker feels the same way because we know that one through nine, there's a, there's a big spot that, that every single person is capable of getting a big hit. And when, and when you see everyone, everyone putting good swings on the ball, it makes it makes you know the wheels start turning. Everyone starts getting confidence and feeding off each other.